Crazy God story. In the 1800s, John Patton and his wife were doing missionary work on islands in the South Pacific. Now, it was very dangerous because a lot of the native tribes were hostile and would kill missionaries. One night, the mission outpost that John and his wife were staying in was surrounded by angry natives, and John and his wife were pretty sure that they were going to burn the building down and kill them that night, so they stayed up all night praying for God's protection, and they were astonished when they saw the next morning that the natives had left. They didn't know why they had left, but they started praying again and thanking God for his protection. About a year later, the chief of the tribe that had surrounded the mission outpost got saved and became a Christian. He ended up talking to John one time, and John asked him, Hey, do you remember the night that you guys surrounded the mission outpost? And the chief was like, I absolutely remember that night. So then John asked him, Well, we thought you guys were going to kill us that night. What happened? The chief said, we were going to kill you guys, but when we showed up, the mission outpost was surrounded by giant men in shining clothes with their swords drawn, so we got scared and took off. John and the chief agreed there was no explanation other than God had sent angels to protect John and his wife. God is still at work today in the lives of his followers, just like we read about in the Bible. Now, while there's people like Stephen in Acts chapter 7 that God chose not to save, what I know is that he is a good, loving, powerful God that has a purpose for everything, like saving John Patton or the death of Stephen. And he is worth trusting our lives to no matter what.